Attention, all Polaris Bank shareholders. Your bank has just been sold by the Central Bank of Nigeria for 50 billion naira. Your new owners are now Strategic Capital Investment Limited. This sale is coming after various denials by the management of Polaris Bank and the NDIC that the bank was never for sale. But recall that the House of Representatives initially gave instruction to the Central Bank to halt any form of sale and make the process much more transparent. This morning, that process has been completed and a new owner has now emerged. Now, going back to the history of Polaris Bank, you will recall that in 2018, Polaris Bank was formed as a bridge bank when the CBN intervened and took over revoking the license of the former Sky Bank. In the process, they took over the assets and certain liabilities. Now, one of the things that the NDIC did to keep the bank afloat was to issue certain um, bonds. And so a debt of 1.3 trillion naira is going to be paid for about 25 years. Now, apart from the 50 billion naira that is going to be paid, that has been paid already for this bank, the new owners will now have to find ways to make the repayment of 1.3 trillion naira. Various things will now take place. So things to expect as far as Polaris Bank is concerned, you could see a change of name. There is definitely going to be a change of management. So the new old management will be leaving for a new management structure to take over the bank. And then you could see public offer where the company tries, the bank tries to raise capital to repay some of these debts. They could also issue some fresh bonds to raise more money to take care of these debts. And also another option that may be available is them approaching existing banks to carry out a merger. Now, aside all this, if they decide to stay standalone and face these debts, then they will have to pay for these debts in, say, around 25 years from now, or from when the tenor should elapse, or when it began, to when it elapses. And that means raising 60 billion naira every year to repay these debts. This is not to scare you if you're a Polaris Bank um, customer because at this point, it is much more safer to assume that the bank is in safe hands. The time to be scared has already gone past, and I think the Central Bank, the AMCON, and the NDIC handled the situation very well for the sake of depositors. So you are safe, nothing to fear anymore. Just look out for the few changes that may be coming the way of Polaris Bank.